I have got you. Oh, some roses. Some roses. <laughs> Enjoy it to be fed. Yeah. Salt's Third Wheel Dates might be the most hands-on dating show you've ever seen because not only do we do the matching, we rock up on the date too. And I, Lauren Windle, will be playing Gooseberry and helping people find love. If everyone gets on well, they can go off on an IRL date in real life. But if not, they can select URL and we'll put a link at the bottom of the show so that viewers can apply to date them. I'm excited. It's something new. So, you know, like I like new experiences, so I'm looking forward to it. Quite excited, actually. It's a really exciting opportunity. 25-year-old Kieran is a support worker and you may have spotted from the accent that we've got a Midlands lad. We've also got a lot of time for any man with a nose stud. Camille is a 26-year-old musician from Reading. Tweeting birds help her get ready in the morning and her hair is spun from sunbeams. I like to play football, basketball and chill out with friends. Knitting. I do love a bit of knitting. I do enjoy a little bit of running. Probably just making music for myself. I feel like I'll be the perfect partner because I'm a very genuine person and I'm honest and I'm loyal. I'm a good listener. Um, I'm very bubbly. Always try and be optimistic in every situation. Bring good bands and good music, I guess, as well, I hope. <laughs> so in a partner, the most thing I'd look for is loyalty. I feel like that's really, really important because without that, there's no trust, there's just nothing. Uh, someone who's a good listener. My ultimate red flag is somebody who has a high ego. I'm not a big fan of tattoos, but you know, each to their own. Uh, but the other red flag would be someone who tries to be someone they're not. You know, you want someone with good integrity. My celebrity crush is Kelly Rowland and I would go to the Bahamas and we would be on a on a cruise. Zac Efron. Our editing team put American actor next to Zac Efron just for all of our viewers who live under a rock. You know, if it's anywhere in the world, why not go to Hawaii? That would be lovely. And just sit on the beach, drinking your coladas and dance the night away. I love him. He reminds me of my friend Richard from Wolverhampton. I feel like I'd get on so well with him. And I know that with his friends, he's like really jokes. I need him to bring that to this date but I'm already gonna call it that this just isn't a match, but like, oh, and she's insane as well. She's like incredible. I love them both for very different reasons and I just don't, it, this one's not gonna fly. Prove me wrong, I wanna be wrong. I need to give a hug or anything. Hug? Yeah, I think just squeeze it. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Here we are. The three of us finally together. Now you've both got accents and I recognise that technically everyone has an accent, but <laughs> I don't see mine as an accent. I see all different from mine as people with accents, which makes me probably a really bad person. <laughs> but where's this one from? Wolverhampton. Okay. Yeah. But mine's is predominantly Scottish. Oh, okay. I've wanted to go to Scotland for a while. Like, you should go. It's yeah, so exactly. beautiful. And Wolverhampton, don't they have some sort of sporting team called the Wolves? <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh at me. What, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the shorter version, Wolves, yeah. Wolves? But it's called Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wanderers? Yes. So What's that? Around? Football. Football, yeah. No, I don't really watch football, to be honest with you. Wow. <laughs> I'm more of a basketball fan. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basketball. So, yeah. Talk about those hoops. Yes, nailed it. Do you know anything about basketball? <laughs> Not a clue. What about the- I love the movie, what was the movie? Space Jam. No, Like Mike. Oh, Like Mike, yeah, that yeah, yeah. That was a good that's movie. Good movie. You've never seen Mike. Like Mike? I've seen White Men Can't Jump. That's that's a good one too. Have you seen that one? I haven't seen oh, that okay. one, no. Um, and I've seen Space Jam, obviously. Hi, some musical. Oh, she just cannot get her mind off the Efron. Is that, that does not count as a basketball <laughs> yes, it does. film. Does that count as a basketball Wildcat, film? Well, yeah. Wildcats are pretty good. You've it? seen that and you like it and you're saying that's you're that's that's where you want to land on this <laughs> issue, yeah? Yes. Isn't it just like glee? It's like no. it's like a musical basketball film, but it's still pretty good, I'd say. I just gotta give her props for that, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, fine. What other basketball films are there? Because I've probably seen them, because I do like sporting films with tall, athletic men. You've got um, Coach Carter. I've seen Coach oh, Carter! Coach, Carter. That's Coach Carter's list. actually really yeah, good. Yeah. That's on my list. Yeah, no, that That's was really list. good. Didn't one of them die in it or something? Yes. Spoilers. La 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 
Oh, so, so far, I didn't say which one. I really wanted to have a basketball here. And my brother-in-law's well into basketball. And I've always yeah. wanted to go up onto the common with him because on Clapham Common, they play basketball. And it's one of those things, there's like a word for it, I don't know what it is, where you can like just show up and play with people who are playing. That's so fun. But he insists that I'm not the right person to go and do that. Why not? Well, I think I'm really good at yeah basketball he seems to think I'm not but if I came up to your game and was like hey tap me in would you let me in why not yeah you wouldn't I don't know I don't know that's brutal <laughs> Kieran's <laughs> way nicer about his basketball <laughs> you don't even play it and you're protecting the game <laughs> yeah, wow sure. but let's pretend I had a basketball here mm-hmm. like just show us a few tricks I would yeah 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 come we don't need a ball what's the you can oh. that? that wouldn't stop a pro Look, I'll show you mine. That's basketball. Go on. I just did a straight. Oh my gosh, it's just. Oh gosh, watching this back is giving me instant regret. It's a nephew called that the duck arm because they go to basketball club. Right. Yeah. So you're picking up tips from them. Well, from when you go. And from Kieran. Yes. Do a little dribble. Yes. (laughs) He's taking tips from me there. That was bang on what I did. All right, well, he's given a demonstration of his skills. What are you good at? Lots of things. Sure, yeah? Uh, I'm very good at music, I suppose. Singing? Uh, n- no. So you play the flute. Flute's my main instrument, yes. We don't and have a flute here, but if we did... I could play it for you. And, ha- like, let's just, let's just put ourselves in that mindset. Okay. <laughs> so you want... No, so you're at the wrong side. To come oh, no, I've so got a left-handed flute. it's not your only hobby though is it because you like knitting i do love knitting how good are you at knitting is that you know what i think i did a bit in like school Mm. um but apart from that i've not done any since then but i'm pissed at it in school what did you do like home ec or something what it was like textiles textiles Textiles. that's so fun just a little something i made earlier um, but it just takes me absolutely ages. ages. Do you want to just do a few rows while we chat? Yeah, sure. yeah. it's just a basics, yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. fancy. If you want to chuck a pearl in there, then every time I look at it, I'll know that that was you. And I don't mean to make this into a women's institute like meeting. Okay, I'll do some pearling for you. She just like. Amazed. It's quite mesmerising, yeah. isn't it? Just to it's watch very it. Very therapeutic. Like, actually. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's very calming. I think so. It, is that why you got into it? Because you just. It's do quite soothing. I just. To you. No, I was at university and, and middle of my first year and I came home at Christmas and said, Mum, I want to learn to knit and she laughed at me. So I went to, I know, so I, and she's actually really lovely, which is funny. Um, and I went to Hobbycraft, I bought the wool and the needles and she was like, oh, you're serious. And so, and so she <laughs> so, taught me to knit and that was it. I just never really stopped. So you know with like knitting and like stuff like that? Yeah. Just apart from like singing and knitting, is there any other like... How about sporty things? Yeah. Are you doing sporty well, activities? The thing is, is with music is it takes up so much time. That it's right. either like music or sport. Are you quite sporty then? I take it. Well, I used to be. Um, it's only used recently I've started to play basketball because I've been a fan of watching on TV, but I thought, let's actually start to play. And so then, um, I think, was it two weeks ago? I played my first match with my friend. Two weeks ago? Yeah. You're bringing this like it's a hobby and you yeah. started two weeks ago? Well, you know, like... Go start somewhere. There you go, there's your pearl drill. Oh, look, and it looks different. Mm, there you are. Oh, my gosh, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's lovely. Do you know who would be wicked at basketball is Cammy. It's true, I actually would be pretty good. Because... I'm unstoppable. I'm quite tall. Yeah. She's got oh, the basketballer's height. Six foot. Ooh, okay. How tall are you? I'm about the same. This show is sponsored by Christians Who Curse Sometimes, where we love Jesus, but also mess up and curse a little. Christians Who Curse Sometimes provides daily discussion topics, articles and resources to grow your faith and grow community by taking the online offline. Um, well, look, no day is good if there's nothing to snack on. I think that you guys have brought a little something to share, yeah? Yes. Whip yes. it out. I have got you. Oh, some roses. some roses. Best snack contribution so far? Yes. Like a rose, which one's like your go-to rose? For me, I would have the yeah. hazel in caramel. Hazel what? Hazel in caramel. Oh, yeah. that one there. Yeah, I like That'd caramel. be the one I'd actually leave in the box. Really? What? That yeah. makes you guys perfect. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like when you finally meet someone who eats the bounties and you're like, oh, goodness, <laughs> they just sit in the box till like February and Christmas was ages ago. I'll take a signature dream. Can someone just pop it in my mouth? Because I don't want to yeah. drop a stitch. Yeah, I'll do it. Thanks so much. Right at the top. Oh, that's the Lord. Signature That's the Lord dream. speaking to you? The Lord provides. I ask for a travel one and he's like, bam. <laughs> I can't open it. Oh, there we go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. How cool. You're very welcome. Mm. Mm. Do you one. want to feed one to Cammy too? Just to you don't it. have to say yes to that. <laughs> <laughs> don't ruin my fun. <laughs> Cammy, what have you brought? I brought a Northern Irish delicacy called Fifteens. Ooh, I've not seen that before. It's so good. So it's, uh, you take 15 digestive biscuits, you crush them up, yep. and then 15 marshmallows chopped up. Oh, they, these are mini marshmallows. Cause, cheated. You know, yeah, cheated. And then you are actually meant to have glassy cherries as well. Um, 15 of them chopped up, all mixed in a bowl. Um, and then you pour in a can of condensed milk. Love condensed milk. Um, and then mix it together. So you roll it up into a log, put it in the fridge, yep. let it sit, and then... She's basically a sexy Mary Berry. Beans. It so it's a biscuit, but better. Yes. Okay. Try one. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. Can, do you eat the things which are in this? Just you check for allergy it, information. Um, you're not gluten free or dairy free. Oh or, no, no, no. Like, yeah, go for it. Then yeah. like you're fine. You can take half of one if you want. Yeah. Thank you. I'll take the other half. Would you like to be fed? Yeah. I feel like I've become like a mother. Mm. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. Mate. Game changer. It's so wrong, but just so right. That was nice. I'm being honest. It is. It's nice. quite sweet, but mm -hmm. like, like I think, like you said, it's so wrong but so good at the same time. <laughs> so you guys have got something in common. We do. You both work with children. Oh, what do you really? do? I'm a support worker. Oh, um, fun. So I work with children with disabilities. It's in a respite okay. care home, so mm -hmm. they come for short breaks. Oh okay. wow! Away Super. from their parents or foster parents. And what kind of age range are you with? So I think the youngest that we start from is around four, and it goes all the way up to 18. Wow, okay, so quite broad then. Yeah. Do you yeah. build really good relationships with the kids when they come in? Well, because it's respite, it's like they're in and out. It's not okay. like residential where they mm -hmm. live in the home, but we do still build bonds with them. Totally. How about nice. yourself? How's... Uh, so I'm a full-time music teacher these days, um, so I work literally from babies right the way up to 18 year olds so one day i could be doing early years classes i'm singing lots of nursery rhymes with yeah. toddlers and babies and then teaching teenagers and yeah. primary school kids how to play different instruments and then doing projects with kids with special needs i love that you guys have got a passion for young people it's important so. how long have you been doing that for uh, i've been doing that since september 2020 so nearly two years but yeah how That's about good. you for about four years and a bit. Okay, so we asked you guys to let us know what you would want to know from your day, just to like build a better picture. And you both wanted to know what has been your best or worst like purchase recently. So I grind my teeth when I sleep and the dentist said, you're gonna to have to pay a lot of money to get a, tooth, a mouse guard to yeah. stop me grinding my teeth. I was like, well, I'm not paying that much. So I ordered a cheap one on Amazon and um, yeah, it was cheap, wasn't it? It wasn't good at all. Go on, what you got for us? Ooh, for me, for me, for me, this is a very hard one because I feel like all my purchases are good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go on, just tell, just tell us your best purchase. Okay, my best purchase was a nice new mattress that I've been using. <laughs> no, that's a and good that just purchase. Make a good, it doesn't make a good, it's a memory foam. It's memory foam. Just wasn't expecting it. No, I wasn't either. Spring, it's both, it's also, spring and both. memory foam, oh, so it's the best of both. It's a hybrid. Best of both world. Best that's of both. lovely. What lesson have you had to learn the hard way? Yeah, I guess for me it was, um, I just moved to London, I was in the middle of my degree, everything was going great and my health um, just deteriorated quite badly to the point that I had to drop out of my course for a year and move home and, you know, yeah. was isolated for a long time mm -hmm. and it was then that time I had to learn, you know, like your flesh and your heart will fail, you know, this is the way life goes but where is your, like, where's your hope, where's your faith and it was... Um, in that time, it was like, okay, well, Lord, you are the, 
strength, strength of my heart, my portion forever. And that's how you just got to realise um, that can, your health can be taken away from you in an instant, but Jesus never can. Here I am now, all healthy and good, and still holding on to that promise. Okay, so what Cammy said she'd love to hear from you is like, what yes. makes you feel most alive and most fulfilled? I feel like when I've put God first, in many decisions that makes me feel alive to know that I've made that best decision with God in the centre of that. Yep. So I feel mm. like it's really important that you know that I trust God in every decision for me that brings out the best in me and that makes me feel most alive. That's so good. All right, let's chat to them one on one to see how they think it's going. Are you enjoying yourself? I'm enjoying this. This is so cool. Really. It's fun, isn't yeah, it's it? It's really fun. It's yeah. a really fun way to get to know someone else rather than just like look at just. 2D photos, you know? Yeah, exactly. Mm. And you can really see, like, that he's got, like, a beautiful heart. Yeah. He's so that caring. Such through. a very loving caring. person. That's why I thought, like, yeah. you know, we talked about what he does for work and yeah. everything. There's that kind of caring side. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Obviously, this is a really weird space to try and build, like, romantic connection <laughs> because, you know, I'm kind of here and there's cameras and stuff like that. But do you feel like there's potential for something to spark or actually do you think, like, maybe it's just been really fun and... That's... I think it's been very fun and I think it's a friendship there yeah. to be had. Mm. Um, yeah, there's no romantic yeah. spark on my side, I yeah. must admit. But that's a fine, it's been good fun. Yeah. You gotta try. Never try, never know. Exactly. Hopefully. Alone at last. <laughs> yes. Are you having a good time? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's been a really great experience for me. Um, yeah. You know, this is something that I can, you know, just look back on and think, wow, I did that. It's out of it's out of anyone's comfort yeah. zone, isn't it? But I just really back you, like so brave to like yeah. come here and, you know, like have these conversations. What do you think of her? I think um, she has, you know, got a caring heart about her, like a nurturing soul. Like, um, and just how she comes across, there's a nice warmth to her that I've noticed so far. I've not, you know, I've known her for that. Yeah, long totally. Time, but just yeah. from what I can gather, that's what I yeah. think of her. Yeah. It seems to me like you've had some really good chats, but I'm not feeling like super flames yeah 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 yeah. would yeah, you yeah. like in terms of like outside of the friendship like outside of a lovely like chat do you feel like there's more of that like romantic connection i think sometimes you can like initially just know from the start if there's yeah. something but sometimes it might take a bit more than just like three hours to, yeah, like, to yeah, decide yeah. on that so for me, it's 50-50, okay. and it's just in the middle. Well, you um, are keeping us guessing. <laughs> <laughs> I think one thing that struck me out from what you've been saying, all the many questions we've answered, was actually about the line of work that you're in, yeah. because I think it's really important that there are um, good male role models um, for the next generation to look up to yeah. um, and um, have that in society. So I thought that's really, really great that you're doing that line of work. So keep going with it. Thank you for that, yeah. You're welcome. I agree on that as well, yeah. Yeah, I love that. From what you've said also, we have something similar in common as in regards to work. So I just feel like from what I've heard, it's like you have got like a caring personality about you and what you do, I'm really intrigued about that and I really like <laughs> that. Like it's just like amazing to know that, you know, that you're putting your hard work into that, like to make mm. sure that these kids get like, a, you know, like a nice life and you know, like you're and do something positive in their life, so oh, I think that's, that's Hopefully they'd really say the same thing. Yeah, I'm sure they I'm sure they would. She's making me practice every day. <laughs> and I love that you guys can see that in each other because it's mm. something that you both have. So, you yeah. know, you yeah. can recognise it. You can yes. recognise it, mm. yeah. It's clear to me that these guys aren't going to match, but I felt actually really challenged by what Kieran said when he was like, I'm open. If there was a second day, great, and if there isn't, great you know and I, I just i really love that attitude but i mean I, i'm i'm pretty convinced that this is going to be a url so you guys get ready to hit the link this is the part where our couple choose between irl or url if they both pick irl in real life we'll send them off on a date without the cameras so they can get to know each other a little better but if one or both of them go for url it's not been a match and we'll put a link or url in the notes below so that you can get in touch with them directly to ask them out yourself yeah i've really enjoyed today it's, it's been great um you know, it's just that, you know, maybe sometimes you just more see someone more as a friend and that's just, that's fine too. So yeah, that's me.
yeah, likewise, you know, it's been really fun and enjoyable time getting to know you and find out a bit about Wolverhampton and all as well. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, the same, you know, sometimes it's either friendship or there is that spark uh, that everybody's looking for. Okay, so it was a match, but it wasn't a date and not really a match, do you know what I mean? But that's fine because if they're not going on a date with each other, they could be going on a date with you. There are links below so that you can drop Cami or Kieran a message and see how they're doing. If you have a passion for basketball, if you have a kind and caring heart for kids, and if you'd like a box of roses too, then drop me a message on the link. If you fancy trying some of my home baking whilst in my nice cosy knitwear, whilst being serenaded by my flute playing, then hit us up in the link below. If you want Salt to set you up on a date and you'd like me to play Gooseberry, you can apply for third wheel dates with the link below. I might make you play air basketball or finish off my knitting, but it'll be good fun and if there's no date at the end of it, we'll give you as the opportunity to drop you a line and ask you out. You never know who could be watching.